Welcome to the tutorial on how to participate in the Ferrum Network pre-sales. The key learnings today are understanding the holder ranks, setting up your MetaMask wallet, buying Ethereum on MetaMask or transferring from Coinbase, exchanging Ethereum for FRM, setting up your Unify wallet, and then the pre-sale participation. Let's start with the FRM holder ranks for pre-sales. So, on the Ferrum Network homepage, you can point to the private sales section where you'll find the Ferrum Network pre-sales to date. And these were Bondly pools. We're about to have a pre-sale of Eureka and Inverse. There are many more projects coming up very soon. When it comes to pre-sale um, FRM holding requirements, you can find all the numbers, all the updated numbers, right here. Uh, as you can see, 50,000 FRM gets you half of allocation, 100,000 FRM gets you a full allocation of the pre-sales. You can also have FRMX holdings and that would benefit the amount you would receive. So, if you want to track those numbers, if you want to check how much you have to hold, then point to Ferrum Network slash, pre slash private sales. So let's start off with a creation of a MetaMask wallet. MetaMask is a wallet which will allow you to interact with a site called Uniswap. Uniswap is an exchange and MetaMask is a non-custodial wallet. So once you download, make sure you uh, set it up properly, make sure you create a wallet, as you can see, and create a strong password, minimum of eight characters. So as we mentioned, MetaMask is a non-custodial wallet, so it's very important that you uh, take the secret backup phrase, as you can see here, and you store it in a safe place. Uh, it is recommended that you keep it offline. So whether it's a piece of paper that you can safely store or anywhere else, make sure uh, you keep it offline. That would be uh, the best suggestion I could make. So when setting up your MetaMask wallet, you'll be greeted with a set of phrases uh, and then you would have to confirm those phrases to finish the setup. Once you're done, you'll be able to click All Done. And here is your uh, MetaMask wallet. As you can see, the values are zero, but you also have a, an extension on your Chrome on the top right. Uh, so you can quickly click and see your balances. So when it comes to purchasing Ethereum, you can do it straight on MetaMask. MetaMask allows you to connect your uh, debit card and make a purchase. So let's see how would that be done. Buying Ethereum on MetaMask say how much dollars you want to buy Ethereum for and then you can proceed with a payment. As you can see, uh, I have a cap on how much I can put. So let's go ahead and click a thousand and then you're greeted with basically uh, pretty standard payment details. Once you make a purchase, you will see it on the extension as you can see there we already have a wallet pre-installed with some Ethereum on it. So as you can see, um, the wallet address is easy to copy. So if you were using Coinbase, for example, you could send your Ethereum from Coinbase uh, by pasting that address into the send uh, field. So, Right now that we have this $1,000 loaded up on our MetaMask, we can go ahead and see how to exchange Ethereum for FRM on uniswap.exchange. 
So Uniswap Exchange is a non-custodial exchange. So you always own your assets. In the drop-down menu, look for FRM. And once you find it, go ahead and uh, click Trade. There are some information on the price volume if you wanted to find these out. So once you click Trade, you'll be greeted with a window that allows you to swap between Ethereum that we've purchased or we've sent from Coinbase and FRM, FRM token. So as you can see, we don't have a lot of Ethereum loaded up. Um, if we go ahead and buy 50,000, we would need around 13 Ethereum at the time of creating this video. Whereas 100,000, which gets you a full allocation, is a bit more. So let's go ahead and put 0 0.5 for the purposes of this video. And as you can see, that would get us just under 2k of Ferrum. Confirm the transaction and MetaMask will pop up. It will allow you to select a gas fee. Gas fee basically determines how quick the transaction is going uh, to take. For the purposes of this video, let's create a fast transaction and submit. Once submitted, you can give it a minute or two uh, to complete, but you can also add Ferrum to your MetaMask. So just two clicks away, we've added Ferrum to our MetaMask wallet. The swap, as you can see, is now complete and we can proceed with sending FRM to our Unifier wallet. So, to set up your Unifier wallet, we need to create a Unifier. So on your mobile device, uh, download Unifier wallet from App Store or um, Google Play Store. And the sign up is very easy. You register with your email address and let's use my firm network email for this purpose and click next. Now you'll be able to type in a password that you want for your wallet and your name. Once that's done, you would get a verification email. Make sure you verify the email and once you do that, click on backup. Backup your keys with security phrases. This is pretty similar to MetaMask. So it is advisable that you keep these phrases offline where um, it's not connected to the internet. As we said, a piece of paper would be great if you can store it in a safe place. So as you can see, you have the recovery phrases in front of you right now. So go ahead and save those or write them down and proceed with a verification. The verification basically um, is there for, for you to be able to uh, confirm that you've written those words down somewhere and just go ahead and complete the missing words. So it is worth noting that Unifier is also a non-custodial wallet, uh, which basically means that you own your assets at all times. Ferrum doesn't have access to your um, assets. We can't transfer them or we can't interact with them. So right now we can copy the main Ferrum address by clicking on Ferrum copying that to clipboard and now we're able to send FRM from MetaMask that we've purchased on Uniswap to Unifier. So let's go back to our MetaMask extension and let's find FRM that we've added. As you can see, we have some FRM and in here you can click send. Here you would paste the address from your Unifier wallet because that's where we want to send it. For the purposes of this video, I'll uh, select one of these addresses. In here, you, you'll be able to select an amount of how much Ferrum you want to transfer and the transaction fee of how fast you want it to go through. Um, once you do that, then it will take a couple of minutes for Ferrum to arrive in your Unify wallet. 
The pre-sale pledge form is something that you would receive in your email, so make sure you keep track of emails that come from uh, Ian Friend, so ian at ferrum.network, uh, and then it will explain the procedure. You would have 24 hours to fill out a form where you'll be able to say, okay, I want this pre-sale. The pre-sale contribution form is what follows after. It usually takes few days, uh, in some cases a week or two after the um, pledge form and in here you would be able to see how much allocation you got so this is the amount you can invest and you would have a link to a Google form. The cont contribution procedure takes place on that form linked in the email and it's very simple um, the form itself asks you to sign in with a Gmail account, uh, put your email address there, you have some agreements uh, that you know you, you should read and understand. Um, so let's go ahead and confirm those. In the personal information you would put your Telegram username. So mine is being typed in right now. And also your Ethereum address uh, you contribute from. This, for the purpose of this video, we'll use uh, the address of our MetaMask that we've created. So let's go ahead and input that. But the actual contribution needs to be done in USDC or USDT. These are basically uh, stable coins which are pegged to a value of a dollar. So similar to how we bought um, Ferrum, we have to also have some USDT. So let's go ahead and buy some for the purpose of this video. As you can see, same procedure but just a different asset. We're not buying Ferrum, we're buying USDT. For the purposes of this video, our Ethereum address for contribution will be our MetaMask. So let's go ahead and paste that and move on. Here you'll be able to see the terms of the pre-sale. This is explaining the token release schedule and other key information for um, the investors. On the bottom of this, you would have a, an address um, that you would send the funds to. In the email, the contribution email, we knew that we were able to invest $700 in this instance so let's go ahead and send that much uh, USDT. So you would input 700 and then click next once transaction fee is selected. So once you send uh, the funds, you would be able to see this transaction in your activity. Go ahead and click on that activity and then click on that view on EtherScan uh, link. And what you need to do here is just copy uh, the hype, the link on the top in your, from your browser. Just copy that. And then go back to the contribution form and uh, paste it in your transaction hash. And as you can see, uh, we were able to invest 700 in that instance. So let's go ahead and put 700. Once this is done, you would also be asked to do some very simple um, social media steps. It, it doesn't happen on all pre-sales, but some would require that. Uh, tick the legal matters and go ahead and submit. So this is pretty much it. You've successfully invested in a pre-sale from Ferrum Network. Happy investing!